What's up guys, welcome back to Uncharted Florida. I just caught my personal best, an absolute monster. Let's jump right in. There we go. On to Sean. Whoa, pick and drag. Oh, that's a good one. What we got here. Oh man. Right as I was reeling in. Oh man. It'll be pretty easy with them. I got little pompano hooks on here. 25 pound test, this feels pretty big. Oh no, did it come off? Oh no, he's still there. Right in the surf there, rolling around. Oh man, good fish. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Uh, I hope we get to see what this is. Come on. Try this wave in. Big, giant bluefish. Oh man, look at that. Woo, look at that bluefish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, big bluefish. Giant, barely hooked too. Look at this absolute monster here. God, this must be eight or 10 pounds. Looks pretty beat up too. Look at that tail. Definitely been chased by a shark or two. Woo! Here's a five gallon bucket for reference. Nice fish. 26 inches to the fork. All right, since we got bigger fish out here, we're gonna put a little bit bigger pieces of frozen shrimp on here. We're on a minor so lunar feed right now and a rising tide. I've got the baits just outside the the first trough right there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, big fish. Big fish. There we go. All right, fish on. Let's go. Loosen the drag a little bit. I don't want to lose them in the rough churn. Ah, oh, nice. Nice whiting. All right. Good size. Yeah, I think there might have been either a second whiting or a pompano. Well, I thought I saw something bigger. We'll review the video and see if we can zoom in. Usually the whiting don't pull drag. Got him. <laughs> Almost lost him. Nice fish. Oh, a little catfish. Oh, one trick with these catfish to avoid getting spiked, come in from the front so that you kind of fold their spines down. Just hold tight. You can see the water's 
fairly clear. It's a little rough, but as the wave starts to curl over, you can kind of see through. It's cleaning up a little bit. Had my phone out, messing with my phone and got hit. All right, fish on again. Wow, we might have lost them. Shoot. Oh no, he's on, he's on. You got a smaller whiting here. Now these whitings sure are out in numbers right now. We're not getting the pompano yet here, but we sure are getting the whiting. That guy's a little small, so he goes back. You want to see how I carry my gear down? I don't use a cart. I usually fish two rods and two sand spikes. And you'll see me testing out a variety of different sand spikes here over the next couple weeks. Pick these up. And my goal is I'm going to test these out and I'm going to build and show you guys how to build the absolute ultimate sand spike that's easy to carry, that has all the features you need. Right now I'm seeing that you can stack these and carry it with your rods pretty easily. All right, there's the flavor of fish gum that we're using today, secret weapon. We're using that and pretty big frozen shrimp. All right guys, let me show you this rig we're using today. We've got a six ounce pyramid sinker followed by three two-aught hooks. This is actually one of my commercial pompano rigs. If you want to learn how to tie this rig, check out this video right here. If you want to see it in action catching an absolute monster pompano, check out this video. This rig is great for anything from bluefish, as you can tell, to whiting, to obviously pompano. All right, 7.57 pounds. Awesome. <laughs> 